Lots of spiritualists, spiritualists talk about the inner world. It's a very common term that they use. Let's understand what, what is. For, for understanding what is the inner world, let's first make the distinction between the inner world and the outer world. What is the outer world? The outer world is the world in which you live. Where you work, where you study, where you, you know, exercise, everything. No? Yeah, the sensory world, the world in which there is a, there your house and the roads and the infrastructure and all that thing. No? That's the outer world. It's the world in which you act. It's the world or in which you exist, physically exist, in which you work and in which you act. What is the inner world? The inner world is one that drives you to do what you are doing. The inner world is the world of your soul. The inner world is the world of your consciousness. No? Where you think, where you analyze, where you reason out. Hmm? The, the world in which you feel, the world in which you emote, the world in which you have sensory perception. You can see it. You can see the expression, but you can't see the world. The world doesn't exist for everybody to see. Who knows? There's nothing you can see about the inner world, but you can realize it. You can feel it. You can experience it. No, you can experience your thinking, you can experience your analysis, but you cannot see it. The outer world is the world which you can see. But the inner world is the world where you experience it. Why is it so important to have the understanding of the inner world? Because whatever happens in the outer world, whatever you do in the outer world is determined upon what you study or what you conclude or what you experience in the inner world. Even the random reaction, the spontaneous reactions that you do, is determined by what is happening in the inner world. Like the type of a habitual thinking that you have already developed and stored in the inner world. So the inner world has a stimuli response pattern. This is in the inner world. So if this stimulus is there, that is the response. Like if a mosquito sits on your hand, you without thinking, without looking, you can tap the mosquito. If somebody says something without thinking, without reasoning, you will give a reparty. What reparty you give, what action you take to what stimuli is completely dependent upon what is stored in the inner world. This storage in the inner world doesn't happen just for one lifetime. When you come into this incarnation, you bring with you all the stored memories, all the stored experiences, all the store, stored thoughts and emotions from your past incarnations and they form the basis on how you respond. The stimulus is new but the response is already fit. Now, if that is there then you may ask me, then we are what you call uh, menu driven mechanism. But that's not what a human being is. No, the inner world is in constant flux. If you do not, if you want to, you can make changes in it. If you want to, you can let it carry on the way it is. The choice is yours. You may decide not to make any changes. It is comfortable. So you reaffirm whatever you are doing in the inner world. Continue to reaffirm it. Though it's in flux, but you reaffirm it. But if you want to, you have a possibility of changing it. So how do you change it? You change it by your thoughts. You change it by your thinking. You change it by your analysis. Suddenly, when your consciousness increases, you begin to question. How do you question? Is what I am doing correct? Is what I am doing the purpose of my existence? Is what I am doing in line with the spiritual attainment that I want to achieve? Hmm? Am I contributing to people or am I taking from the people? Is it right for me to contribute or is it right for me to grab from them? These are all the thoughts and analysis that happen in the inner world. Now you make a change in your thinking. No, this is how I was thinking till now. This is how I was analyzing till now. But from now onwards, I'm going to definitely change because this thinking of mine, this way of reacting of mine is not what I want my life to be. So I will make the changes. Then you make the changes. 
it will take a little time a little practice for it to become a habit and then it becomes your habit now you have a new set of responses to the same old stimuli that's where the responses are stored in the inner world they are expressed in the outer world the inner world will teach you that perfection is what you want to go to but perfection is not a place you ever reach it's always a process it's always in the process you become better and better and better and better and more contributory but you never reach a place of perfection and that's how your external expressions will alter the real progress starts in the inner world and is expressed in the outer world